Welcome to the Get Trauma Informed podcast, dedicated to unraveling the complexities of trauma, its pervasive impact, and the journey towards holistic recovery and realignment. If your radiance has ever felt muted, like I and thousands of others, you're in the right place to reignite your inner light. I'm your host, wellness coach Liz Blanding, and this is the Get Trauma Informed podcast. On today's episode, we are going to dive into another mini trauma recovery talk. And today I named it kryptonite. I named it, we're talking about uh, isolation being kryptonite. And the reason that isolation is kryptonite is because you are alone with your own thoughts. And we know that, you know, I liken my complex PTSD to I liken it to I'm visual. So one of the examples would be when they put they put the pilot and this is one of Denzel Washington's one of his amazing movies. Right. And it was called Flight. They put him in. He said a broke plane. But when they put him in that broke plane, what did he do? He flipped it upside down and he and he moved in in um he, he was able to navigate that plane upside down. And that's what I feel like. And this is my own personal experience with complex PTSD and, you know, the depression and the anxiety and the panic attacks, all of those things to me encompasses like, man, it's an injury, right? It's not our fault. So trauma is not our fault. And so when you think of it that way, it helps me to see that, okay, take a deep breath and to realize that I was put in a broke plane. You know, when trauma happened, your brain actually, it actually, um, I was going to say it shatters, right? So it goes into, it goes into um, these, these different areas. And I want to explain it gently. So it's not triggering anybody, but giving you the information that's absolutely necessary for our recovery. And I say our recovery, because I'm standing toe to toe, peer to peer with you. There are some studies that say that you can recover and that it can go away. And it just depends on how your how your chemistry accepts the trauma, how your brain accepts the trauma, the circumstances, your your life experiences, your childhood experiences, how many times you've been in tra uh, trauma or traumatic experiences over and over again. So what I wanted to come today and be real specific on a couple of tools that will help us. And today I'm telling you for the the plan was to come out and do a podcast, I'm telling you, but I felt like I wanted to get back in the bed and pull the covers over my head because so many things were coming at me at one time. And if you are suffering from or have suffered through or in recovery from PTSD or complex PTSD, we know that isolation is kryptonite, but also overwhelm. Overwhelm is, I want to say, tons of kryptonite poured on top of your head. And that's how I've been feeling. I said, wait, let me shake this off. We have an event coming up on the 25th. And when I talk about recovery being an ongoing process, that means we must take care of ourselves on a continual, continual basis. And these tools that I'm bringing out and that the team is pooling together so that we can have holistic recovery in our self-care plans. And that's one of the reasons why I'm, I just launched and it's prime week, everybody. So for prime week, we launched the beyond the battlefield of trauma, the, the actual journal, right? And it's a visual, it's a beautiful visual to help you set the atmosphere for putting together your self-care plan. Cause sometimes we have to shift the atmosphere. And this is the other one. It's beyond trauma. So if you're, if you're, if you've suffered through military PTSD, you want to check into um, obtaining your copy of the journal for Beyond the Battlefield, and then any other type of trauma that you've gone through or that you're recovering from and putting together your self-care plan, you want the Beyond Trauma uh, journal and guide. And it's actually a journal and a guide, and it's going to help you to move uh, move your atmosphere, shift your atmosphere. I'll tell you, I have to listen to songs that motivate me and get that, you know, get things moved for me. And one of the ones that's like plays in my head is um, Whitney Houston's I Go to the Rock. 
And it says, when the storms of life are surrounding me, I, I, know, I go to the rock. So wherever your spiritual, your spiritual awareness is, I'm telling you, me, for me, it's prayer. So let's get into the subject. We talked about the 25th. The 25th is so, it's such an amazing event coming up. It's so crucial that you are able to lock in with us. There are going to be expert guides there that'll help us to put together our own plan and start to really becoming aware of the trauma that we've suffered and understanding that there is a roadmap and a plan of self-care. You're going to get community support. We're going to do a deep dive discussion into military PTSD um, versus complex uh, PTSD and also personal stories of the journey. So you can grab your tickets. Now the VIP ticket, it actually comes with a copy of the Pathway to Trauma Recovery. They're on pre-orders now. So you'll be able to get your autographed copy and you'll also get a copy of the session that we have. And you're able to meet with us uh, in, a, in, a, in a more intimate group setting after the event. So get your VIP passes or your general admission tickets um, at oasiswellnessctrs.com. And it's also in the show notes. But for today, I wanted to just go over some specifics with us to give us some ways to recover and realign from past trauma. Now, I go through different um, different uh, counselors and different coaches and different, you know, um, different, um, I want to say different modalities or different and pull together all of the information and resources on top of, you know, the education or the certifications that I have. And that helps me to stay in recovery, but it also provides valuable information from you too, for you as well. So I wanted to give a shout out to the crappy crappy childhood fairy, right? She is absolutely amazing and phenomenal with all the information that um, that she uh, puts out there. And a lot of her information really, she, she gives a lot of practical tips for us to stay in recovery and even to become aware, because that's part of the problem. If we don't become aware of it, you know, we just know that we have a heightened sense of, of, of a higher uh, sense of vigilance, like, right, we are we are well heightened vigilance and we are more uh, trigger sensitive because think about it. If you're walking through life and you're on fight, flight, freeze, or fawn mode all the time, that means your panic button is always on. You always have a, a biochemical reaction going on in your body. So if you're, if, if that's happening, it's really hard to function until you can actually become aware. This is what's happening with me and accept it. I was in denial for so long that it, you know, um, just, just being in being again, being in denial is not, is not a good place, right? Um, because you can't do anything about, you can't do anything about your situation if you're in denial. So let's get going. Um, there are 11 ways for us to recover, realign from our past uh, traumas and to get, to get back, get our power back is one of the things that she says all the time over, over the crappy childhood fairy. And I'm giving her a shout out for the great work that she's doing. Um, there are 11 ways and I'm going to go over those with you. Um, we can learn what PTSD and CPTSD is. And we can learn how to re-regulate our brain and re-regulate our emotions. That's something that we can do. But again, it, uh, not the, I don't go into isolation because that there and a lot of times we do want to go into isolation because that's our, our safe space, but you want a safe space full with tools. Now, I'm not saying it's not okay sometimes to retreat a little bit, but for me, retreating a little bit, man, and I could just stay there, pull that cover over and just stay there. And you don't want to do that. Number two, you want to notice your specific symptoms and how they have had an impact on your life. And with the tools that we're able to provide in our community and in our membership, you will be able to do that. And then you can move forward because now, you know, like me, I know overwhelm just takes me out of the game. Again, my two kryptonites I know for sure is overwhelm and then the other is isolation. And they kind of put you on that on that that spinning wheel. Um, three, visualize your trauma, write it out. And that's why I talk about the journals, because the journals give you not only guides, but it also gives you some self-care tools and um, visualization practices. So it'll help you to become more 
in charge, more in control and get your power back. Number four, you want to surrender the fear, get clear of your past and your present. Sometimes they merge together and you want to make sure that, you know, once you position yourself in a, in a place of, you know, that you are actually putting those self-care practices together, you want to position yourself to really distinguish between the past and the present so that you don't have trust issues when it's actually no reason to have a, a trust issue, right? Identify your triggers and learn how to regulate your emotions. That's huge. Identify your own triggers. Um, number six, identify toxic people, places, and things in your life. Take baby steps to clear um, yourself from the toxicity, release yourself from people that hurt you. That's another key. You want to make sure that you know the people that are toxic in your life. And we know it. We, we just keep them around anyway, right? Maybe that's a sense of mm, unhealthy safety. I'm not sure what that is, but we can work through it as we as you come into the program. You want to set boundaries and respect them. Learn about healthy boundaries. And that is huge. That's a key factor. Learn how to set them, keep them, and respect them yourself, right? Number eight, keep the focus on you and not on other people's behaviors because we can't control anybody else. We only have control of ourselves. Number nine, toxic work, toxic bo bosses. Find your purpose in work, work. And the work that makes you come alive. Like, I love what I do. I find purpose in this. I love helping other people overcome as I'm still working through my recovery and working through staying in recovery, right? Read The Pathway to Trauma Recovery. That's our new book that came, that's coming out. Um, it's pre-orders for the VIP. So for the VIP passes on the 25th. Um, and listen to other people's stories of overcoming. And that's one of the things in our book that is absolutely incredible and amazing is the stories of people that have faced trauma and are able to overcome that trauma, right? And number 11 is your addictive behaviors. You want to recover from addictive behaviors. Addiction can be in the form of sex, drugs, gaming, shopping, um, those are things that we're using to cope and we're using them to cope, but they're unhealthy um, habits, right? It helps us to soothe in the moment. That's that instant. Like I used to always liken it to my mother's homemade rolls. She used to make the best homemade rolls, but one of the issues with the homemade rolls is that you must, you know, go through the process of, you know, putting all the ingredients together, kneading that dough, and then cutting out the holes in the in the in the rolls and putting them on the stove, putting butter over them and letting them sit while they rise. And it may take eight hours for them to rise. So in the process, you, you know, you're you want those rolls to rise, but instant, right? Instant, if you crack that biscuit, instant is not good. It doesn't, doesn't taste good. Um, so, I mean, it might fulfill that hunger in that moment, but it doesn't taste as good as if you wait. So I'm saying that to say that we try to cope in that instant moment and those coping mechanisms makes things worse. It's a snowball effect because you're needing more and you want to go to that place more and more versus facing whatever the issue is and then working through it. I don't mean to say that this is easy because it's not, but that's why it's important to be in community. That's why it's important to have a community around you that's going to, that really actually see eyeball to eyeball, understand what you're going through, understand what, you know, understand that's that's the big thing. That's what the Get Trauma Informed movement is all about. It's about getting a good understanding and that this is an injury. This is not something that we woke up and chose for ourselves or that we want this. You know, this is something that, you know, that chose us. And so now how do we make the best of the situation and still live a happy, productive fulfilling life. And I'm here to tell you that it is possible. And locking arms with a community that understands and supports you is key to that recovery. So I hope this has been helpful in our mini trauma recovery talks. It's been a little bit longer than normal, but I wanted to make sure that we got those key points in. And um, I just thank you for listening. And I hope to see you on the 25th. You can go to oasiswellnessctrs.com and go to the events tab to get your 
your ticket and also, or to register and get your ticket, but also make sure that you that you click on the link below and order your journal so that you can have a place to keep all of your information, your notes, your thoughts. And as you look over your journal and go back, you'll see how much progress you made or which areas you may need to work on a little bit more. And then there are so much in our community and so many resources to help you. So hope this was a good, you know, just a good checklist for us to go over. And um, I hope to see you on the 25th. All righty. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll talk with you soon. Bye for now. It's time to buckle up. No more suffering in silence. Our power pack journey to recovery and realignment starts now. Remember, you were collateral damage on someone else's warpath. Trauma is not your fault. Recovery, however, is your responsibility. I'm your host, wellness coach Liz Blanding, and this is the Get Trauma Informed Podcast.